So what is AWS Cloud Shell? AWS Cloud Shell brings into play a browser-based shell that lets you interact with AWS directly. Before we had to install the CLI tools locally on our Mac PC or Linux machine and then remotely connect into AWS, Cloud Shell removes this barrier to entry by allowing you to directly interact with AWS services via the web-based console. So who's Cloud Shell for? Well, it's for people who are new to AWS, first of all. It removes that barrier to entry, as I mentioned before, having to install the CLI tools locally on your desktop. And if you don't have any real experience interacting programmatically with the service, this can be a slight barrier to entry. It's also for the more advanced user, where it removes the need to manage multiple environments, multiple roles, or multiple connections, because when you log into AWS Cloud Cell through the browser, it assumes the role in the region that you're in, so you no longer have to provide those credentials or profile to the CLI itself. So what are the features of AWS Cloud Shell? Well, it's an AWS Linux instance running in Cloud Shell itself, which means you automatically get bash out of the tin. You get one gigabit of persistent memory in the home directory, but if you store anything outside of that home directory, it will eventually get wiped by AWS. This is because they automatically provide updates and security patching, so you as a user don't have to worry about it. After 20 minutes of inactivity, your session will be disconnected, but you can get up to 12 hours of continuous use for one session. So if you're running something quite a long time, it may not be the correct tool for you, but if you're running anything less than 12 hours, then it's perfect. As I said, great for those quick interactions through the CLI. So once on the console itself, make sure you're in a region that supports Cloud Shell. I'm in the Irish region. And if you go to preferences, then you can see that the font size you can select, there's a theme, and of course there's enable safety paste in case you want to copy and paste something that actually has a command. So back on the actual terminal window itself or the cloud share window itself, let's just run a quick AWS command like list the S3 buckets. So the CLI toolkit is already installed here. I'm just running the command and you can see that it brings back my buckets that I have in this account. Now, as I did mention earlier, only the home directory is persisted. So you actually start one level deeper in the cloud shell user, as you can see by my command. If we just go back one directory and then we do the, what path am I in? I'm in home and I'm gonna go back just one more directory here. And the idea of going back this extra directory is you can actually see I'm on an AWS um, Linux instance here. So back into home, and then you can see that that cloud serial user is kind of where you started and then there's a lost and found directory as well. And another great feature actually is the ability to upload a file from your local machine. So I'm going to navigate here to a key file that I downloaded earlier belonging to a running instance. And this will give me the ability to SSH into an AWS uh, Linux instance that I already have up in this uh, account. So if you upload that file, it actually uploads, as you can see, to the right hand side into this uh, cloud shell user directory. I'm going to go connect here. I'm just going to grab the credentials with a quick copy and paste as you can see, and then I'm going to CD into the directory where I actually put the, um, or where the, the, the credent, the key perm file got uploaded to. I need to actually chmod that file. So chmod 400, then the name of the file itself. Oh, there's a space in that, hang on, chmod. Yep, just put a space in there, see it's mod 400. And then if I just SSH into that directory, hit yes, because that's the first time you can see that that's now me in the Amazon Linux instance. Well, that's everything on AWS Cloud Shell for today. I've been Johnny Chivers. I'll make all this information for free as usual on my website, www.johnnychivers.co.uk, link in the description. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.